random act of kindness, no matter how small, can make a tremendous impact on someone else's life. Hello everyone. Let's start with a third poem, A Tiger in the Zoo, written by Leslie Norris. Let's read the introductory part first. This poem contrasts a tiger in the zoo with the tiger in its natural habitat. The poem moves from the zoo to the jungle and back again the zoo. Read the poem silently once and say which stanzas speak about the tiger in the zoo and which ones speak about the tiger in the jungle. So the poet Leslie Norris has described about a tiger, a tiger in the zoo and a tiger in the jungle. A comparison has been done here. While you read the poem silently, you will come across to know that in a certain stanza, a tiger has been described who is in the zoo and in other stanzas, a tiger has been described who is in the jungle. Let's read the poem first. He stalks in his vivid stripes, the few steps of his cage, and pads of velvet quiet in his quiet rage. He should be lurking in shadow, sliding through long grass, near the water hole where plump deer pass. He should be snarling around houses at the jungle's edge, Bearing his white fangs, his claws, terrorizing the village. But he's locked in a concrete cell, his strength behind bars, stalking the length of his cage, ignoring visitors. He hears the last voice at night, the petroling cars, and stares with his brilliant eyes at the brilliant stars.